Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. Today, I would like to take a look at a M1910 type of uh, cartridge belt. The nomenclature on this would be belt, cartridge, dismounted M1910. They made two types of these. They made a dismounted and a mounted. This is the dismounted belt right here. And this is also what would be considered a late war belt. The early M1910 type uh, belts had, instead of this lip to dot fastener, they had the eagle snap. And then they also had a retaining, a charger, what they called a charger retaining strap. See that there? That's what they call a charger restraining strap. And it had those in here, which would hold these this ammunition in here. Each pocket took two of these charger retaining strips here, okay? But anyway, this section here, the belt sections on this belt here are 16 inches from end to end. And this belt section right here is 17 inches long and it is about let's see here about two and a quarter inches thick and this is made of webbing notice that these pockets are woven right here on this uh belt here the m1910 types had woven pockets they were crinkled together like that at the bottom and the material was woven this particular belt here has a patent date and a manufacture date of October 1919, I believe. Okay, and it's made by Mills. There were two makers of these type of belts, and it was Mills and Russell. Uh, notice the lower set of eyelets right here are oval, and in, I believe it was in 1917, they quit making this oval one and they began to make it like the round one at the top for ease of production. But the idea was the oval, they could hang two items, for instance, off the same deal. Like, uh, see, so you could hang two in the same hole was the ideal. But uh, these particular ones here is not a good example because it would cross over. But you could hang two items side by side uh, like i said the this charger in front right here went with the bullet up and the retaining strap it went down in there and it went up like this and the bullets would come up and the retaining strap would go over and then the second charger would go bullet down in behind that and of course you would use that one first and then you would get to this one here. But anyway, the uh, the M1910 type belt here was made in three sections. See that? You got two pocket sections and a belt section right here, okay? And then in 1917, they changed, like I said, the oval eyelets up here to the same as the ones on the top they did away with the retaining strap. See, it, the charger strap's no longer in this belt. And then they changed to these lift the dot fasteners right here. And the reason they done that was so they could keep up with the war effort. These woven belts and with the snaps and everything took longer to build. Now notice that this belt has a different way of adjustment. Of course it has these right here but notice how this adjusts here unlike the m1923 type belt see how this one here adjusts it has these two right there see how that's built you can see the writing on that if you're lucky mills but anyway it had these two sets of eyelets up through here and that's the way you adjust the belt up and down to what you needed. And when you had it where you wanted, 
you would pop these little hooks back in there, which is uh, actually kind of a little trick to do. But anyway, let's see here. Well, it's not wanting to go. Giving me a fit. Okay. Well, we'll bounce up to a different set of holes where I had it. Maybe that'll be a little easier. But anyway, you get the idea. I mainly wanted to show you how to adjust. And as you can see how hard it is to adjust, that's probably why they changed the system uh, later on on some other belts. But anyway, this should be considered a late war. This belt here would be a late war M1910 type of belt. Now, I would ask all of you out there watching, uh, if you would subscribe to my channel, uh, I'm getting ready to make a bunch more videos. So I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. And I asked if, that you would hit that like button and you would share these videos. And thanks for watching the Web Gear Review.